Hi there, this is Dr. Rao. Let's take a look at this exercise where we have to capitalize interest in a construction project. So in order to capitalize interest, the formula really comes down to weighted average expenditure multiplied by weighted average interest rate if applicable. That'll give you the interest to capitalize. So before we can get to this formula, there's lots and lots of information you need to go through. So let's read the exercise. You have Fountain Industries that began construction of a warehouse on July 1st, 2024. The project was completed on March 1st, 31st, 2025. That's into the next year. No new loans were acquired were acquired for the uh, this project. So which means we have existing loans. They do tell us that there are two interest-bearing liabilities that were outstanding throughout the construction period. So I have this two million and eight million dollars. These money is available to finance my project. The interest rates respectively are eight and four percent. Now, because no new con uh, construction loan was taken, I have to first calculate the weighted average interest rate before I can proceed. So I'll hold off on reading the rest of the exercise. I'll jump and first calculate the weighted average interest rate. So I start with writing down the dollar amounts of those liabilities, which is eight, uh, two and $8 million for a total of $10 million. The interest rates are 8% and 4%. So the actual interest I'm going to pay is 160,000 and 320,000 for a total of 480,000 on this $10 million in loan. Now, a couple things. First, the project has not even started until July 1st. This interest is for the full year. So I cannot capitalize all of this and I didn't use all 10 million, but I do need to calculate the weighted average interest rate which is going to be the actual interest divided by the loan outstanding, 4,480,000 divided by 10 million. And the number we come up is 4.8 million. So now this is a number I'll be using. So I have highlighted this number and kept it over here. Now let's continue reading the exercise. Our construction expenditures were incurred as follows. So the project started in 24, ended in 25, just jumping down one line, I know my fiscal year end is December 31st, so I'm sorting sorting them out by year. So three expenditures happen in 24 and one in 25, so I have to do two separate calculations. So I have year one and year two listed out over here. So the first expenditure of 400,000, I incurred this the day I started the project, not surprising. Second one was on September 30th and then November 30th. So here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to instead of the date, write the interest period, okay? So I can capitalize interest from the day I use that money, 400,000, I spent that money. So not from January 1, when I had the loan, I am paying interest, the actual interest is being paid to the bank, but now we're looking at our project. So that's six months, so six over 12. For capitalization, we need that number. That's 400,000. So 400,000 times six over 12 will give me 200,000. The next one is on September 30th. September 30th to December 31st is three months. 600,000, that works out to 150,000. That's three over 12 multiplied by 600. The last expenditure was November 20th. Uh, sorry, November 30th, which means that's only one month. End of November means only in December I can accrue the interest. So that's one month. So that 600,000 will work out to only 50,000. 600,000 multiplied by one over 12 is 50,000. Now add these numbers together. This gives you the weighted average expenditure. Bring that number down over here. The weighted average expenditure. Again, let me put a different color here so we know where we're getting the numbers from. The interest rate, that interest rate was 4.8% that we were going to use. Weighted average expenditure multiplied by weighted average interest rate will finally give me how much interest I can capitalize in this project. So we were asked to calculate the amount of interest to capitalize in 2024. 
And the answer is 19,200. That's one part of the answer. We still have to do 2025 and we'll see how to do that. Now I'm doing another calculation over here, not calculation, more presentation over here, just so that you know what we're doing. When this warehouse is being constructed, you're adding all the costs to the warehouse. When it is ready, when it is completed, after that point, you start using and you depreciate it. So now the question is, how much are we capitalizing? We just answered the question about the interest. The interest capitalization, we said is 19,200. The capitalization of expenditure is the actual expenditure. Okay, so what was the actual expenditure? The actual expenditure was 1.6 million. So 1.6 plus 19,200, that's how much is debited to the cost of the warehouse in year one. We are not done with the project. So now year two, we continue carry on. January 30th, I incurred another $540,000 in expenditure. So first, let me start out with, I'll show you what this number is. This number, 1,619,000, I bring that over here. This is the actual plus the capitalized number for the second year, multiplied by three over three. Okay, sorry, it should be three over 12. Three over 12. And how do I come up with three over 12? I had it for all three months. Okay, on this number, we accrue interest for all three months, three months out of the year. The project is completed on March 31st. That's why we're looking at only three. So this number works out to 404,800. The next expenditure was incurred on uh, January 30th, which effectively is goes into the next month. So we have only one month, one over 12. We have one over 12. Oh, I need to change that color there. One over 12. The actual is 540,000, giving me a total of 90,000. So the weighted average expenditure here is 494,800. Now, bring that number down here. Again, to be consistent, let me see if I can use these colors here so you know where I'm getting the number from. The interest rate stays the same. That same loan, those two loans were available throughout the project. So no new information over there. We'll take that 4.8 million, I'm sorry, 4.8%, multiply that by the weighted average, and the interest we're gonna capitalize now is 23,750. That's a number I will use over here. Interest capitalization, okay, so interest you capitalized over here, 19,200. The second year, it's 23,750. And that's the number we have over here. The second year, the actual expenditure was 540,000. So my total expenditure is what you see over here on the project. So my total expenditure of the project is 2,140,000. That's the actual cash I paid to my contractors. I got to capitalize the interest. Interest I'm paying is 480 thousand dollars a year on these two loans however long i have them of that i got to capitalize 42,950 to the warehouse that gets added to the cost of the warehouse again to answer the question calculate the amount of interest capitalized for 24 and 25 the answers are 19,200 and 23,750 so with that we'll move on to the Next exercise.